guys, I know this is a very extremely late because we're already almost halfway through the year. Um, and I haven't done my January or February wrap up, and I'm doing that now. Um, in January, I would want seven books. Um, so why don't we just jump into those? The first one is. The second book in the Infernal Devices, uh, Clockwork Prince, by Cassandra Clare. Um, this is just a continuation on from Clockwork Angel, where we follow Tessa and, um, Gray, William Her Her Herondale, and James Carstairs, um, as they still fight the... Um, evil of the Shadow World. Um, in this book, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars because I simply actually love this series more than I love the um, Mortal Instruments series. And I just love revisiting this world. I am rereading all of them. Um, Yeah. Um, and then I read Silver and the Blood by Jessica Day George. I gave this one a 3 out of 5 stars. And I honestly don't remember what happened in this book at all. It's been a while. Um, probably from on here, there's like somebody who's all whis whispery away of like a shot or um missed you something and then you got a wolf back here and that's about all I know and I gave this a three out of five stars and like I said I just don't remember what happens in it and then the Raven Boys by Maggie Seawater. This is the first book in the Raven Cycle. I do actually have the physical copy now. I actually read this one on audiobook. I gave this one a 5 out of 5 stars. And I forget what happens in it. Um, when I do continue on in the series, I'm probably going to end up rereading this. Just to see what happens in the series. And then... Um, I read one, two, three, four audios. One is a, I think a second book in the series of The Wayward Children's by Sean McGuire. Um, I think it's Beneath the Sugar Sky, and I gave this one a four out of five stars, and I do not remember what happens in this book. I just know it's a, you know novella or something like that um of the series and then i think i read three more um novella type books from the ghost of the shadow markets um a deeper love um, the Wicked Ones and The Land I Lost, The Deeper of Love, I gave 4 out of 5 stars, and The Wicked Ones and The Land I Lost was 5 out of 5, and I forget why it is. It's been a while, so. <sighs> yeah, and then we have, going on to the February wrap-up, I read... Thirteen books, and most of them were audio, so that'd be nine, and the rest were physicals, so why don't we jump into it? The first book was obviously Clockwork Princess, the third and final installment in the um, Infernal Device. Um, Apparently, I got the Collector's Edition, and I never actually saw that. It's the collector's fir Collector First Edition um, by Cassandra Clare, and this is the last installment of, like I said, the Infernal Devices. And needless to say, this is my 
second time rereading this. Um, the first time, I cried my ass out. This time, I still cried my eyes out because at the ending, it was just... Oh, this is probably my favorite out of all of the Cassandra book, books, I mean, books I read. It's just so... Oh, yeah. And then... Oh, wait. I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars. And I'll probably still continue giving it a 5 out of 5 stars. And then we have An Absolutely Remarkable Thing by Hank Green. Um, I gave this one a 4 star. And all I know is what's Aliens and YouTube and some person gets famous over it. And then we have my favorite. Yes, I actually do have a physical copy of this. I did read this on audio. It's Defy by Sarah B. Larson. This is the first series, first book in the trilogy of the Defy Me series, or uh, Defy series. And I gave all three of these books a five out of five stars because they were simply amazing. This follows Alexa Holland as her parents were killed, her and her brother um, end up being in the army, and she is chosen to guard the prince, who is a 